All right. So this is another match with Dak, Faden, Goblin, Welder, Deku, McGecky, and Vintage. <clears throat> so we're waiting on CWAM. It's kind of like Jason Mind Sculpt, but only a little different. What can this hand do for us? Um, hmm. Oddly enough, not much. I mean, we can play Lotus. Uh, then we can Thirst for Knowledge, discard Emerald, hope to get something else. We can also Mystical Tutor for something like Ancestral. Actually, maybe this hand does a lot. Let's keep it and we'll risk it. Our opponent also went to 6. So we'll see what that... Alright, so we kept on six. <clears throat> we can't actually afford to... Uh... Oh, interesting. We can't actually afford to um, force of will here. Wait, no, F6 here because we might force of will. Um, yeah, we're definitely force of willing that. I think he has two cards. <clears throat> On our turn, we can go Mountain. I, th I don't think we actually care about that, just because if we don't give him any Wasteland targets, we're actually in fine shape. And he could be playing Stacks. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. It's going to be fairly unique, that's a thing. So, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> I think we go Thirst, Tutor, Ancestral, right? And that gives us like tools to do like a million things. So let's cast that. We'll cast this, and we'll cast this. Uh, we'll add three blue with this. We'll play this. Uh, we'll search for an ancestral. Uh, we'll thirst for knowledge here. Targeting ourselves. <clears throat> That's actually really good. Um, we have one more, so we're going to actually draw. We're going to actually discard the Baleful Strix here, because then we don't have to discard anything else. Hit OK. Target ourselves with Ancestral. Cast Mox Pearl, and pass the turn. And that actually seems real good, because now we can, uh, if we get a black, we can Yawgmoth's Will, or Vampiric Tutor, or Demonic Tutor, so... Then we do have a Force of Will to counter whatever he might play. That's actually fine. You have a ton of mana already, so I'll just counter whatever you play with all that mana. Two Wastelands. Mm. So this is going to be the last card in your hand. And that is not going to resolve. Here's open for... Mox Jet would be perfect. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, I think we just pass here, actually. We're both in top deck mode. He has a mana crypt that could very well jeopardize him. He won the flip. Alright. I'm gonna F4 here. Underground see that could be real good. But it does on replay Wasteland, so we have to actually make the most of it. Uh, which doesn't seem too hard to do. Okay, so we underground play Yogmoss Will. Uh, we can Lotus. Yeah, we can just do everything we did last turn all over again.
Yeah, so we're just going to Yogmas will here. Only this time uh, we can actually cast uh, Ancestral Recall. Which seems pretty solid. Did you just waste them? Yeah, sure, that's fine. So we're adding three blue here for obvious reasons. We could actually add three black and go Demonic Tutor, Vampiric Tutor, um, which might actually be better. Maybe we add black. Yeah, let's do that. And we can Demonic Tutor for a Mox Sapphire. Uh, which gives us a permanent source of blue. Uh, we'll cast Ancestral on ourselves. Uh, that's pretty sweet. And... Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna vampire tutor for a mox jet so that we have all of the mana that we need. I think. Is there anything better that we can get? Maybe Dak Faden is just real good here. Uh, maybe we just play Dak Faden and steal his Crucible of Worlds. That seems insane. I think we're gonna do that. So I have no other manas, and we've played everything. So yep, good to go. Yeah, we're actually going to steal his uh, Crucible. Um, and then strip mine his Wasteland. And that's all we're going to do this turn. <clears throat> See if he loses the flip. Did lose the flip. A revoker, probably naming Dak, but I think the damage is done here, so that's fine. Yep, he did name Dak, and he casts Trigon Predator on it. Oh, Metamorph naming playing for spirits. Sure. So I mean actually fine. Uh we do need a black source, but hmm. um Dax plus oh we can't use that. That's unfortunate. We actually have nothing to do here. I mean, we do have a counter spell, which is fine. Yeah, we're just going to have to wait till we draw a blue source, basically. Or a black source, rather. Hmm. So he's at 12 as well. So he's got three turns. He has to win the flip for three turns. Does he attack me or Dak? Like, it's good to get Dak off the board, just in case I have an answer for that guy, but... Or he doesn't attack either. Oh, he might think I have Snapcaster. Force of Will. Hmm. Well, I don't mind having a Force of Will. But it doesn't really do much right now. So I think we're actually... We don't want to play a land from our hand because we want to actually try to get to seven cards. And then we're going to play library and draw something. Um, so we're actually just going to get rid of Demetrius Factory and replay Strip Mine. 
One black mana is all we need. And he actually has two. He has to, if he if he loses the flip two more times, he's just dead. So. Attacking deck. Attack with the deck. And a time walk. That's a pretty good one. Apparently I passed my turn. Did not mean to do that, but I guess that's what happened. Did not get to play a land. And he's at three, so maybe it doesn't even matter, but yeah, I hit a four during his end step, I think. And then it just skipped. It was probably my fault, I probably just missed it, but that's still unfortunate because it's, you know, not fun. But we do have a time walk in hand, so uh, damage is minimal. He ended up attacking me for two, so. A lodestone golem. Um, do we care about that guy? I think we do. Now he's going to play something else. Sure. That's actually fine. I mean, like, it's not great, but... I mean, he still has... Oh, well, that's... Oh, that does still doesn't do anything. This guy's still, uh... So we're going to time walk here. We will play Talarian Academy. Uh, we'll sacrifice strip mine to get rid of your Misha's factory. And we'll start our next turn. Draw black mana. Uh, Factor Fiction seems good. Let's just tap this and play a Factor Fiction. Ah, uh, pay one. Because it, cause it costs one more. <coughs> Well, I have not played a land this turn, so I could actually just play Strip Mine, Strip Mine his Wasteland. Um, hmm. I'm actually just going to take Pile 2, and then I'm just going to Strip Mine his Wasteland. Because all these lands go to the graveyard, and I have Crucible of Worlds out, so I'm not sure what that actually does. I wish I had. Oh. I wish I had a way to get a swamp in the deck, but I do not. So instead, we're going to just play Underground Sea and make a Baleful Strix here. And we get to draw a card. So that's pretty sweet. Alright, so I think we're in real good shape now. And if he just loses this flip, it doesn't even matter. Oh, he won the flip. Good for good for you. All right. Sometimes you win the flips. So I have six here, so it's up to him whatever he wants to do. He's probably going to play uh, duplicant. Yep. Going to eat my baleful strix. See, this is on top of the sphere, so now it looks like it's one short card. It just needs to... This is why I'm telling you, I liked it when it was over here on the side. Because it wasn't in the way of anything. I didn't have to move boxes and, like... It's just weird that it blacks out the screen. So, duplicate, yep, obviously waiting on this guy. Yep, you got a 1-1 one, one now. Uh, 
And I have infinite mana that you did not choose to get rid of. I do like an island. I also like a DAC and being able to steal like your duplicant or your revoker. Or I can just play Wasteland, steal like a Mox Sapphire. No, I, I still can't do that. Jeez, I keep forgetting the DAC is turned off. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? So seven cards. I think we brainstorm here. Uh, Tinker seems real good. Let's keep Tinker. We'll put Library and Mana Vault back. So, gonna tinker, get rid of Mox Pearl, put Mirror Battle Sphere into play, and we're gonna play an island so we still have mana drain up, but we might as well just play it from the graveyard. We'll play a Volcanic Island. And. He's at three, so all we have to do is actually attack with these guys, and he has no cards in hand, so I'm pretty sure this game is over. So, just waiting on this dude. And won the flip again. So I don't think there's anything you can actually do. Duplicate's gonna cost a mil well, okay, you actually you can cast that. You can actually use that once. That's pretty solid. Targeting Flaring Academy? Sure. Targeting blue. I will add a blue. Relevant as I have a mana drain in hand. If you want to pass, I will pass and we can go to combat. Yeah, Crucible is much worse when your opponent has one as well. These are definitely, this is definitely the matchup that you have the ingot chewers in the sideboard for. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to play... Well, I don't think we actually play anything. I think we should attack here. Begin combat. I'll attack with this guy. Yes, I will use the ability. One, two, three, four... Yep, and that's the end. Alright. Like, let me decide what we do this turn. Nope, no need. Just kill things. Ingot Chewers definitely come in. Future cards can enter from graveyards or libraries. That's good against uh, Kaldatha Forge Master. But that's it. Um, Flusterstorm is not very good. Mental Missteps is not good in this matchup. Um... Hmm. Tinker is good. Thirst is good. Dark Blast isn't very good. Cards and Graves lose abilities. That's not that great. Um, Grafter's Kitch could be good if he has Forge Master because he can't search for things. But that's pretty much the only thing that it's good against. So I think we actually just bring in Ingot Chewers and then take out, like... Mm -hmm. I guess Dark Blast is actually good against his Revokers, but that's it. Like, it's real narrow. Like, I don't know if I want to bring out a card like that against him. Um, I like Merchant Scroll can come out. And maybe Mind Slaver. I always want to take out Mind Slaver for some reason. If I had to guess, I would say Mind Slaver is primarily for like the Storm decks so that they can uh, 
you can just steal one of their turns and waste all of their storm cards. This hand seems real good. And I have two ingot chewers that we can evoke. I'm gonna F6 here, I have no counter spells. Um, so we got four mana. Trinosphere. Alright, well, that's real annoying. So I don't think I can actually play this guy right. We cast the spell, so it falls. Yeah, so it's gonna cost three. Well, that's a thing. Yep, one, two, three. Yep, Johnny Lodestone Golem. That's his name. That's a real good mold of six. Yep. It's not looking good for our hero. I mean, if we can draw a Lotus, it's actually not terrible, but I'm pretty sure he's just gonna. Alright. Fine. Oh boy. Well, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. Always a pleasure, Tangle Wire. And Lodestone Ball. Yep. Oh boy, third night's a fourth night's whisper. Full set of Night's Whispers. Good lord. Yeah, I'm just going to scoop this up. We go to 10. Um, you know what? Let's just play it out. What the heck. Don't know what you got. I don't know what that means. Need to check something on the wire. Hmm. Interesting. Bugged? What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess he only had to tap two things with Tango Wire. That's interesting. Hmm. Yep. Stax is annoying because it's basically like the, uh, hey, you don't get to play spells. Yep, down here. All right. Um, I don't think we're changing anything just because of that match. Everything else seems still fine. The rest and spell pierce are great. Man of all is great. Yeah, I think we're fine like this. So submit. Yes, I will definitely play first. I will also definitely keep this hand 100% of the time. This hand is actually insane. We just welder and get a turn two mirror to battle sphere. Yeah, this hand's unreal. Uh, we go Lotus. Um, we cast a welder with this guy. We cast time walk. Uh, we welder. Oh, we need load. We need. Oh, we need battle in the graveyard. This guy isn't a tutor. Jeez, that's dumb of me. Um, but we can. Huh. All right. 
So let's see what we can do here. We're not storming into anything, and we want to play our artifacts as soon as possible because he can make some he makes them cost a little less. Or more rather. Um so we could use this for black, use this for blue, but then we don't get both, we only get one. So we're gonna go to this guy. Gonna sack for if he has a turn. I think we actually just play time walk here. All right, so six turn two. Oh, well, that's pretty fine. Um, so we're gonna sack this for black. Tap this for blue. Baleful Strix. Draw a sapphire. Play a sapphire. Two black floating. That's fine. I mean, we can actually sack a Mox Emerald. We're actually going to keep uh, Welder up because we can actually force a will something if we want to. Yeah, Wasteland doesn't really even do anything against us here. That's fine. Sure. Yep. Looks pretty similar. Um, Solar Ring's also fine. Chalice on one, definitely not letting that resolve. But now we only have two lands, which is unfortunate. Oh man, that's real bad. Actually, we can just Dak Faden and steal one of his things. That's actually real good. Let's do that. Oh, actually, no, what we're going to do here, we're going to actually play this correctly. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right. Get this guy in there. We're going to trade this guy for an emerald. And then we're going to steal his soul ring. Yeah, that seems real good. So what does this guy say? Should we target artifact Both targets are still legal. That player sells me. Sacrifice the artifact and returns the artifact card to the battlefield. Okay, that seems real good. Considering I can just steal all your things. Can have that junk vault. Uh, me. I will discard these two. We'll play a jet. Use one of the two. We'll Knight's Whisper. Draw Tinker. And. Sacrifice that. Get a battle sphere. And your turn, good sir. Well, after I attack, anyway. And that's the end of that. All right.